The Devil's Cigarette Lighter was a natural gas well fire at Gassi Tuil in the Sahara Desert of Algeria. Ignited when a pipe ruptured on November 6, 1961, the Phillips Petroleum Company owned well produced more than 6,000 cubic feet 170 cubic meters of natural gas per second, whose flame rose between 450 feet 140 meters and 800 feet 240 meters. The flame was seen from orbit by John Glenn during the flight of Friendship 7 on February 20, 1962. The blowout and fire were estimated to have consumed enough gas to supply Paris for three months, burning 550 million cubic feet 16 million cubic meters per day. After burning almost six months, the fire was extinguished by well fire expert Red Adair, who used explosives to deprive the flame of oxygen. The exploit made Adair a celebrity. Adair worked the fire with Asger Boots, Hansen and Ed Coots Matthews, who later formed the Boots and Coots Well Control Company. Preparations took five months while Adair's team cleared wreckage from near the wellhead with shielded bulldozers, dug wells, and excavated three reservoirs for water supplies. On April 28, 1962, Adair used a modified bulldozer with a 66-foot arm to move a metal drum containing a 550-pound nitroglycerin charge to the well. Adair, Matthews, Hansen and Charlie Toller rode the rig, protected by a metal heat shield and water sprays, with Adair driving and the others on a shielded platform while medical teams and evacuation helicopters stood by. After positioning the explosives, the team ran to a trench about 150 feet 46 meters from the well. The explosion extinguished the fire by displacing oxygen from the area of the ruptured well. Water from the reservoirs was used to flood the area for two days to cool the well. Drilling mud was pumped into the hole to control the flow of gas and the well was capped after four days of work. The 1968 John Wayne movie Hellfighters was loosely based upon the feats of Adair during the 1962 Sahara Desert Fire. <laughs> 